All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and well, my Proxmox upgrade did not go well. And if you didn't watch last week's video, short, didn't read the manual, I went from a i3 to a i7. The problems I had once I replaced the CPU, which apparently online is a very common issue. Swapping a component, for whatever reason, makes the network adapter in your system now in my system, I am using the Realtek NIC that is built into the motherboard. I don't have a separate card. It's just the NIC that's built into the motherboard, but it would not reinitialize on startup, reset the BIOS, went through all the BIOS settings, could not figure out any way to make it just start out of the box. And my Google Foo apparently sucks because I could not find a solution to that online other than how to reinitialize it after the server's up and running. So unfortunately, I could not fix it easily enough to, well, get it back up and running. My TrueNAS also was down because it no longer found the path to its operating system and I could have fixed that or I could have wiped it and done a new one. Now I was able to go into the terminal and reinitialize the network adapt. Every time I would power down the server, I would have the same exact problem. I would have to go in and reinitialize the network card, reconfigure, and unfortunately going through multiple steps, I could never get it to actually just work out of the box. I just could not get it to actually, well, work after a power cycle. And on top of that, my TrueNAS core installation was no longer working. It no longer found its operating file. Now, I never actually tried to fix that because, well, I pretty much had given up on continuing to screw around with the Proxmox server. So what I've decided to do going forward, because this is a production server, this is what I use to edit my footage off of. So what I've done is I went back to the i3 and have put a new drive in it. And this is now a TrueNAS scale server. So what I'm going to do with that 10700K is I'm going to build another 2U server. And that will be my Proxmox test server. That will be where I put virtual machines and all that. So I'm gonna build another server so I don't have mission critical stuff like this server. This server, in case you don't know, I do four videos a week, one for this channel, three for my main channel, and everything is edited off the SSDs that are in this server. So <laughs> having it down for a week and a half has kind of sucked. <laughs> my render server is no longer able to see the files there, so I have to render on this machine. So my workflow was a little scattered. So I will be building a new 2U chassis for Proxmox. I will go ahead and do another 2U chassis, set it up to do Proxmox and other virtual machines. So I will have virtual machines, but I went ahead and set this one up just with TrueNAS scale. Now I have not gone in and set up the pools or any of that kind of stuff yet. I literally had already decided earlier in the week I was gonna do that. And well, I just have not, you know, still back here. You can see the terminals up. That that's my my move going forward with this server is just true NAS scale, run it as a editing server. So look for that content coming up. I will have a video building a new server and that will be a Proxmox test server along with virtualized Linux and stuff like that. But I will be doing stuff with that processor, just not this chassis, because I need this backup for video production. Figured I'd give you an update on the Proxmox situation. So thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.